Sir, if Donald Trump loses the election today, should he concede? Look, I think that one commitment I think Republicans can make is if Donald Trump loses this election and Kamala Harris becomes the president, God forbid in my case, I'm not rooting for that outcome. Republicans are not going to launch some type of multi-year investigation that impedes the first two years of her presidency with false allegations of foreign election interference. We've seen that within the last decade in this country. Right, I think but it's a yes or no question, sir. Biden, I mean, should he concede or should he not? I think whoever wins the election should win the election and whoever loses should concede. But the fact of the matter is, when we look at the last 10 years, in case you and I both understand the subtext of this question, there's been this, I think, brewed up concern that I think is really designed, I think, in many ways to mislead voters about what's happened in the last 10 years. Misleading voters. There's I mean, people exactly, attack the Capitol to try to interrupt the process may, of certifying I, I may, the last election. If, if, I may finish, if I may just finish my point, that's no doubt been talked. The January 6th issue has been talked about ad nauseum. What hasn't is the fact that the presidency was actually undermined by Donald by Kamala Harris and the Democrats, the Democratic Party that Kamala Harris is a part of, for the first two years of Donald Trump's presidency on allegations of a false Russia collusion hoax that was disproven. So what do we want this time around? We want a free, fair election where the winner is decisively decided. Americans can then move forward as a country behind that. Whichever candidate wins, I'm looking forward to that happening for the country. And I'm hoping that's Donald Trump tonight.